Today we're gonna talk about a facial animation add-on specifically for lip syncing. We all know that animating lips in Blender isn't the most fun thing to do, but hopefully this tool will help you make your experience much better. Syncnix, the lip syncing add-on, is a tool that will help you to easily create lip syncing animations in Blender. If you ever tried lip syncing animations in the past, you know that the process is extremely tedious and time consuming. You have to create a shape key for every phoneme, which are the distinct sounds you create using every unique sound in English. And they are approximately 44, but with Syncnix you only have 14. And they do the job just well, especially using the setup the add-on offers. And I think that the process is very accessible, intuitive, and easy. Major features of Syncnix what Syncnix Lip Sync offers is, in essence, a user-friendly way to create lip syncing animations with a pre-made tool that will lay out all the vowels and consonants in your workspace. So instead of animating each shape key slider one by one, as it is the case with any lip syncing project, Syncnix makes the process much easier and faster. Before you get access to all the Syncnix functionalities, you need to create upfront all the phonemes listed on the add-ons window. There are 14 shape keys that you need to create, so the add-on can be used to animate the lip syncing animation. Also, the naming of the shape keys has to be exactly the same as listed on the add-on window. For example, for the first shape key, which is the ah sound, after creating the facial shape key position, create a new shape key and the name has to be ah1, exactly as listed. Otherwise, the add-on will not recognize the shape keys and they will not be linked to the Syncnix tools. And if you are new to Blender and you are confused about the shape keys and what they are, essentially a shape key is a saved modification of the object. So for example, if you deform your object in some way, you can save the state. And now you can activate the shape key with a slider between 0 and 1. And you can even use bones and drivers to achieve more precise deformation. So make sure you go through each shape key and name them exactly as listed. And in case you already have those shape keys already created, all you have to do is just rename them. This way you don't have to recreate those ones for the add-on to work. After you get your model ready and all your shape keys are set up and named correctly, click Add Syncnix. This will load the tools and set up a custom layout for you to work on your lip syncing animation. Head back to the Layout tab before you can animate because first we need to link our model to the Syncnix tool. The tool will load a face that is exactly linked to the Syncnix tool. But once you link your model, it will take its place and your model will be renamed to template and moved to the template collection under Syncnix. You can press M and move your model to whichever collection you like, and you can even rename it. In case you want to use multiple Syncnix tools in the scene, remember to rename the Syncnix collection. Also, a very good practice to make things easier is to create separate vertex groups for each face element, whether it be face, top teeth, bottom teeth, tongue, and so on. This will make creating the shape key much more easier for you and you can select separate objects easily. Even though these parts are all in the same object, make sure that they are not connected. All you have to do is to go to the edit mode or sculpt mode and start creating those shape keys. If you are using the edit mode approach, try to use proportional editing tools to make it easier, and remember to set it only on connected. Now, if your model has no armature, drivers, or shape keys, you are done. You can jump to the Syncnix tab and start animating your speech. However, if you do have armature, drivers, and shape keys already installed in your model, there is a process that you need to go through first, which is... First, duplicate your model and hide the duplicate because we're gonna need to copy all the drivers and shape keys later. Now go through the process of creating all the shape keys and linking your model to the Syncnix tool. After you do that, select your model and then select the armature. Click Control, choose Armature Deform, and your model will be transformed under the armature layer. And all your shape keys will be transferred. Now, all you have to do is to copy the drivers from your hidden duplicate to the linked model one by one. And you can delete the duplicate when you are done copying everything. So how to animate using Syncnix? To animate using this tool, jump back to Syncnix layout tab and the interface is divided into different sections. On the right, you have all the mouth switches and triggers. You can grab the switch mouth object and move it around to produce different sounds. 
and the face object should move accordingly to your selected phoneme and letters. However, you should first change the open and close mouth switch to open, otherwise you won't see any movement. On the left you can see your model, and on the right you can see your timeline. To start animating, go to the video editor window and import a voice clip with the voice you want to sync to your character. Now when you click play on the timeline, you can hear the sound playing also in the background. To start animating, grab the switch mouth object in the middle and move it to the letter that is closest to what the character is saying and set the location frame. The switch mouth object also can be moved on the Y axis which will allow you to choose the exact letter that is corresponding to the letter being uttered. I hope this add-on can be useful to you. If you are interested, you can find the necessary links in the description. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Also, you can check our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.